Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Pints and Paints. Kind of making this thing a regular thing. Kind of nice. Excited to be back in front of the camera and uh, talking to you, beauty folks. Uh, so, let's get the formalities out of the way. Uh, today's beverage of choice. I don't, I don't really know. Pints and Paints. Uh, pints are good. Pints are very good. But I do enjoy a good mixed drink. So, this week... We're going with the Long Island iced tea because it is hot outside. I just finished uh, doing a pile of work outside. Uh, came in, wanted something cold, refreshing. Wife whipped this up for me. Ready to do an episode of PMP. So cheers. Here's to you guys. Hope everyone's having a great uh, Friday. Getting ready for a big hobby weekend. Uh, and uh, hope everybody had a great week. So cheers. Mm. Oh, it's magically delicious so good so good so news from the hobby uh this week we had uh today actually uh we had the goblin town mercs or goblin mercs um whatever goblin town mercs i guess came up for pre-order um not sure if there was a glitch with the system or or if there was a problem there but it said they were sold out so whether it's a glitch or whether it's actually sold out sold out would be awesome it means lots of people are buying toys which is good news for everybody um so pre-orders went up you're getting 12 warriors with a captain in the box so that's 13 models total for 40 pounds uh, i know some people were a little um apprehensive about that price point i personally think there's nothing wrong with that price point you're getting a full warband at 40 pounds which if you equate it over to the iron hills you get 12 iron hills warriors for 40 dollars. then you have to go and buy the captain and banner separately uh, with these particular gents you're getting it rolled into one minus the banner of course um, but you're essentially getting a captain free in the box so price point wise i think gw did a good job came in fairly reasonable you know where where they're going to be the reality is guys i think uh if you want shiny new toys particularly something of the quality that is forge world you're going to pay you're going to pay if you don't want to pay then don't pay um you know uh but i think i can speak for a lot of people that i know i'm getting tired of the oh my god it's 40 pounds or you know the expense gripe is getting kind of to the extreme uh given the fact that you know a year and a half two years ago we were complaining because there was absolutely nothing to buy there was no new models no new sculpts um so i mean i guess we can't have our cake and eat it too so let's not complain about the price point of 13 models for 40 pounds um you know if you want them you're gonna buy them if you don't want them or you can't afford them or whatever the whatever the reasoning is you're just not going to buy them that's that's the reality of uh, economics 101 uh, right here at pmp you heard it first uh anyways uh, i think they're they're brilliant value for money the sculpts look incredible um once again forge world has knocked it out of the park so uh, i'm looking forward to seeing what is uh you know what's going to be next for forge world because the stuff they're turning out is just absolutely stunning so I really, really do not think we have anything to complain about at this point. Um, as far as that goes, that was it for uh, pre-orders slash releases. There was no other information regarding the uh, Battle of Pelennor Fields or possible box set or any of that good stuff. So we can just leave that, let it simmer on the stove. Um, here in Ontario, we have two events coming up. So we have uh, Holes Are For Hobbits, which is being hosted by our very own OHA, Evan Woodruff. Uh, he will be hosting this under the OSBGL banner. Um, it's a $10 entry. Interesting list composition, 396 points. Uh, there's some formalities about force composition. So I believe, if I'm not mistaken, you need to have a generic captain, generic as in a generic captain there's some argument online about what is considered a generic captain um either way generic captain leading a full war band of basic troops and then after that you can do whatever you want with your points so it's kind of interesting in that it's forcing you to take a base composition which is kind of cool 396 points is obviously 
<laughs> kind of out there, but uh, for any of you who know Evan, you will completely understand that number and know why he did what he did. So, cheers to Evan. Great job. Looking forward to it. Uh, I will be using this as a primer for the following event, but uh, it's a ten dollar entry. It's going to be held at um, uh, Forbes Hobbies in Cambridge, Ontario. That is Canada, of course. Uh, you'll be fighting for top spot for store credit. And the interesting thing about this particular event is it is an elimination style. So if you have more than two losses, you're out of the running. That's it. You're done. See you later. Uh, you're not in contention for top prize. Uh, I'm sure we can still continue to play in whatever. I will automatically put myself into that lot, um, given the caliber of some of the players we have in the Ontario scene. Uh, I'm just going out for a good time. So looking forward to it. Evan, can't wait. That's Saturday, June 23rd at 10.30. Uh, that'll be at Forbes Hobbies in Cambridge. $10 entry fee. Go check out the OSBGL site. If you're interested or able to attend, I'm sure they would love to have you. Uh, following that event, uh, next in July, so about a, basically a month after Evan's event, um, there is going to be a very large event, and I'm thrilled this year to be able to attend, as I was not able to uh, attend last year. This one is going to be the Desolation of Toronto. So last year was Desolation of Ottawa. They held it in Ottawa. Um, unfortunately for me, there was a timing conflict with regards to other, you know, Nova, Articon, all these other events that were going on. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't swing getting up there. Thrilled to be able to get up and support Adam um, from Blackfire um, at the Desolation of Toronto. Uh, really looking forward to it. I know him and the Blackfire gang have been putting a ton of work into this event, uh, what with sponsorships and, and, uh, and the like. So looking forward to seeing that. It will be the largest event that I have attended um, with regards to points, at least. So this is going to be a 1,000 points, uh, which, you know, already, I know me personally, 1,000 points, that's a lot of models. It's going to be, you know, those are going to be long games. There are six rounds at two and three-quarter hours apiece, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um that's going to be crazy, crazy. So six rounds over two days. So I would assume three day, three rounds a day, uh, unless I, I have the timing wrong. I haven't seen the pack, so I'm not entirely sure. I have signed up. Um, looking forward to it. It's going to be uh, an epic struggle, both on the table and mentally, sort of to keep yourself, um, you know, wired, ready to go. So I know myself and OHA Dane will be heading down. Uh, not sure who else, if anybody, will be attending from the OHA, but we're going to go down, fly the OHA banner proud, and uh, have a good time. So I think the Friday night, the uh, Blackfire guys are going to be running a siege event. Um, I know both myself and Dane would like to take the opportunity Friday night to sort of just chill and take a look around the convention. This one here is being hosted at what I believe is a proper convention. Um, so kudos to you guys for doing that. That is brilliant. Uh, I really think that, that is uh, added value for the players. Um, you know, looking forward to seeing what uh, what a Toronto, Canada convention looks like. I've never been to the big city to see, you know, one of their their style conventions. Everything that I've done, the the, the largest of which would be Hot Lead, um, other than last year at Nova. But I don't equate those into the same category. Basically, for Canadian convention, Hot Lead is the scene I know best. So I'm looking forward to see what they have on offer at um, you know at the expo. So uh, really looking forward to that. Head on over to uh, either the OSBGL Blackfire Productions or the Toronto Gaming Expo site. You can sign up for the Hobbit pack there. Um, not bad value for money. It was $80. Uh, that got you into the convention, your convention pass, as well as your entry into uh, the Hobbit competition, uh, the GT. So uh, looking forward to seeing what's on offer. Looking forward to catching up with some uh, some friends from from back, whole oh, crap now, hot lead, I guess would be the last time I've seen a lot of these guys. So looking forward to catching up. Uh, I hear tell of a rumor that there's some Americans coming, so that will be exciting. Uh, hopefully I can get Devin to have maybe more than two beers before he falls asleep. Anyways, just saying, just saying. 
um, you know, the OJ will be there. We will be offering lessons on how to stay hydrated if anybody requires them. We'll be happy to uh, show you our tips, tricks, uh, you know, everything that keeps us hydrated at the top of our game in the SBG universe. So um, that is it for... That's it for news from the hobby. That's it. That's what's going on. Uh, I guess I do need to come up with a thousand points because, as I said, the desolation of Toronto is a thousand points. So I need to figure out what I'm bringing. Obviously, my fallback is Iron Hills. Um, I just don't know if that's what I want to bring. I'm not sure if I want to dabble in into the evil realm or if I'm going to keep true and uh, and field my thousand points of uh, Iron Hills. So. Definitely stay tuned. There'll be more to come on that. Probably do a couple of hobby vlogs leading up to it. I am excited to get some filming in with OJ Dane. For those of you who don't know Dane or have not met him, he is quite a character. Um, and I think we're going to have an absolute blast. So there should be some great synergy on camera there. And uh, hopefully relate to some great A content for you guys. So looking forward to bringing that journey to you. So uh, in OHA news, so now that we've done the hobby in general... OHA news. Uh, excited to say we have a game night tomorrow night. Hold on. Oh, that's so good. It's so good. Game night tomorrow night. Uh, we will have a new player. There will be a new player in attendance tomorrow night, which is great for the Southwest. Uh, it'll be myself and OHA Tyler. Uh, and we are going to be doing some filming, actually. We're going to get some content up other than, uh, you know, my ugly mug yapping in front of a camera. So there's uh, going to be some bat reps filmed. Uh, we're going to do some scenarios out of the journey books, I think. Uh, I believe the first one that we're going to do is um, hunt some orc, I believe. I think that's I think that's the first one we're going to do. So excited to have a new guest excited to have a new player um you know we're gonna get her in and uh playing throwing some dice so that should be exciting uh i'll give you a quick sneak peek the table is set up and that will be the first scenario that we will be playing tomorrow and then from there maybe uh because those scenarios are pretty short we're going to try to get two three done stagger them you know, we'll have some content over the next few, uh, you know, next week or so maybe. Get it posted up. See how you guys like it. Hopefully you're receptive to it. So, um, also of note, the OHA painting competition has opened up. So, for those of you who have not followed along or seen it uh, on the Facebook site, and I mentioned it last week on PNP, uh, we are doing a painting competition. There is a, uh, it's somewhere, Middle Earth print, beautiful print, uh, hobbit movies basically three of the more rare movie posters in one it's a very nice print that will be up for grabs the only caveat is that it has to be a model uh, or unit whatever from the battle of Pelennor fields uh, you have until june 30th to submit the winner will be announced july 1st we've had a number of submissions unfortunately there's been a couple that uh were not Battle of Planner Fields, so you know, unfortunately, they were they were some great A stuff, beautiful stuff. I'm still gonna post some pictures of them just because they are so gorgeous. They'll be posted at the end of this video. That's the end finger that way. Um, terrific work, beautifully paint, painted. Unfortunately, they are not uh, units or models found at Battle of Planner Fields, so uh, unfortunately, this individual won't have enough time to paint something else. Uh, he's already got a queue of projects lined up, so we'll have to wait until the next one to see some of uh, some more of this quality. But the stuff that he did submit was absolutely gorgeous. Um, I have posted it on the Instagram for those of you who are interested now. I'll throw some stills up on the end of the video here, uh, and you guys can kind of have a look and see what's going on. So, uh, As for anything else, that's it. That's all I got. I'm going old school here. Got a notepad. You know, jumping in front of the camera, uh, a little rusty since it hasn't been a weekly thing. So um, I know I really want to take a minute and thank the guys at SBG Towers. Uh, that magazine was the kick in the ass that I needed uh, to re-motivate me. Uh, so for those of you who have not been following along, I've been getting back at some models here. 
come out while that shows. I'll throw some stills up at the end. Uh, got Arwen done for my daughter, which is uh, really exciting. She loves playing with the female characters in the Lord of the Rings. Um, and that's really, <laughs> it's really why I do what I do. Uh, it's something for me and my little girl to connect with. And uh, it was absolutely great to get that magazine and get fired back up for SBG and Lord of the Rings. So now that Arwen's done, I have some more partial projects that are sort of part way through that I'd like to plow through, get those cleaned up. So stay tuned. I'm going to post them up. Um, I definitely want to get back into filming, you know, the odd hobby blog here and there. Uh, it's been nice. I've been on vacation actually for the last week and a bit, even though I'm working my butt off outside. It's been nice to be able to, you know, lunch break, come in, chill out, do some painting, uh, cool off a bit because it's it's pretty warm. The air down here works awesome, so <laughs> I am absolutely stoked uh, to be able to cool off and relax, throw on a little bit of uh, you know the Lord of the Rings soundtrack and just immerse myself in that. Uh, the Arwen model was absolutely fantastic to paint. I loved it. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting into more of those character specific um, models. Uh, just because I think I need to fill up my collection that way first. I've got a lot of rank and file done, painted, ready to go. So I want to make sure I have the characters. So um, I know I paint a lot of good. That's just my preference. So I want to sort of double back, get into getting some of my evil stuff painted, ready to go. Um, particularly Isengard. I want to finish that off because I have a fairly, uh, sorry, a fairly uh, sizable force of Isengard. It would just be nice to fill that out with the heroes and stuff. So I think maybe that'll be the next project that I sort of dive into, finish up. Um, but uh, yeah, that's that's about it for my stuff on the bench right now. Uh, there will be a new addition to PMP coming up following uh, this episode. Hopefully, I want to start showcasing some of the amazing talent that we have in this hobby, um, and and people that are out there producing some of the high caliber beautiful stuff that we see on these pages um, So there's been a number of individuals that I want to reach out to get some pictures get some information And I'm going to talk about that and show those uh, those posts sort of In a mini vignette within PNP itself. So really looking forward to that Excited to be back on the horse Thank you guys so much for joining me. That's it. I've rambled enough. Cheers. Happy hobbying this weekend. Get some paint on those models. That's it. That's all you got to do. You sit down, grab one of these. You grab one of these. And you just, you do it. That's it. I'm out. Have a good weekend. Cheers.